Welcome back to Boomer's Playground, and today we'll be going over coding exercise 44 in the Colt Steel Web Developer Bootcamp on Udemy. So this one kind of sucks because we've already done it, um, but this was before we were creating functions, so we were literally just doing the idea without creating the function. And so this like sucks because we've already done it, but it's also kind of nice because it shows the value of a function, right? So um, let's just do our pseudo code first. And again, you guys are probably sick of seeing this, but it's one of those things that like, you just have to keep doing it and it will start to become background noise and will help you in the long run. So, so we will create a function and it's called square. And we can see that right here. Number two is um, uh, squares. Okay, so it doesn't specifically say that it's going to give us something, but we know it's telling us here that we want to square of a number. So we're going to get a param that is a number. And again, the reasons that I know this are one, because I've been coding for a while, but two, we're going to return the square of a number, but we don't know what that number is, right? So that's how we can kind of deduce that this will be a parameter of some type. So then here we're going to square the param, and then number four, we will return the new squared value. All right. So let's take this over to JSBin, get rid of all of our old stuff, and we'll paste this in. All right. So I don't remember which lecture was it. I think it was the looping, or was it decision making? Um, comparison, conditional, conditional, nested. No, nope, that wasn't it. This is array, lotto, array access, pop shift. Now we're good, we're good. Um, all right, so I don't remember exactly which exercise this was, but we did this at some point, and um, this, this really shows the benefit of a, you know, function. So we initially, they were just like, hey, you know, square a number, but they, they make sure to note that the um, asterisk to asterisk is not supported. So remember we had that math.pow. Um, so I think we did, I don't remember, crap. I don't remember, let's say, so let's just, let's say we want to square two. We'll do, we'll do math.power, dot pow, we'll do two by two. And this should give us four. Oh, well, it's gonna fail because that's not what it's asking us to do, which is fine. So let's do this. So we'll do console.log math.pow, and then we'll do the number and how many times we want to times it by itself. And that's <laughs> two days, not what we want. Okay, this is getting out of hand here. So I'm saving, saving, bim saving. All right, we're going to clear this up. Oh, hello. All right, cool. So we get four. So if we're going to do this by three, that is two times itself three times. So that should be two times two is four times two is eight. And... We are having the same issue where it's not saving. So we'll do eight. Okay, cool. All right, so we we do this once and we're like, oh, awesome. We just exponentially did that. But if you wanted to do this, like, or do a lot of, de uh, a lot of like logic, this doesn't make a lot of sense. So the benefit to a function is when we create a function, we can call it anywhere, whatever we want. So these are pretty poor examples because 
you know, it's, we're doing one thing, but let's say, like for instance at work, I had to, I'm taking in a whole list of contacts from your phone, and then I've got to like loop over those. Well, creating a function makes a lot more sense than just doing it hard coded every single time, because let's say, you know, the boss comes down and says, hey, um, I want the contacts to be ordered this way. Well, I've now got to go change every spot that I've done this code in, whereas if I do a function or like a utility function, I've only got to do it in one spot. And so just think of a function like a recipe. You've got to tell it exactly what to do. So, you know, we have, um, you know, we have our function created and then now we're just doing these things, right? So it's going to get a param that's a number. All right, so let's just do number. We're going to square the parameter, all right, which will be, um, we can do const squared number is going to equal number times itself. And then we return the new squared value. So we can return squared number. All right, so let's see what we get here. So this should give us nine if I've saved it enough times and I didn't, which is fine. All right. So we get three. All right. Um, oh, <laughs> see how I just console log the actual number three. I didn't call the, the actual function. Oh, whoa, whoa. What do we get? Square. Get a number. Three times three. And then we return that. Hmm. All right. So let's do this. Let's uh, let's change this to num. I know number is oftentimes a reserved keyword for a lot of languages. We'll do that and we'll save that. And we still get an error. Okay. So const square, we take in a variable or a parameter. We set const. Oh, I spelled square number wrong. All right. Let's try this again. All right. So now we get nine. We should get four here. 16. Perfect. All right. So this should work. So let's, um, let's see if this passes the test. And it does perfect. All right. So we could probably even cut this a little shorter. So we could really just do num times num. And let's see if that passes. And perfect, that works. Awesome. Um, and then the other thing we could do is we could do the math.pow, which, I mean, if you're just squaring something, I really don't see the benefit to this, but uh, we could do num by two. So this is going to take whatever the number is, the numval, and we're going to multiply it by itself two times. So let's see if this works. And that passed the test as well. So um, I hope you guys learned something today. Again, we were just redoing the same thing we did prior. Um, we're just wrapping in a function, which again, a function is like a recipe. So they're really beneficial that um, in bigger code bases, you have these, like we call them utility functions at work and they just do one thing. And so, you know, like, oh, hey, I need to convert, um, you know, miles per hour to kilometers per hour. We have a function that you pass in the value and you pass in if you want kilometers or miles per hour and then we do the checking there so we only have to change that ever in one spot opposed to in every spot in your project that you may need that information so um, that's why functions are really important that's why i kind of like this exercise for that reason but i hope you guys learned something um, if you have 
questions or comments, ask them in the comment section below. Otherwise, like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next exercise.